I'm Tarbuck Transom. And I'm not a vampire. And this is Taste Test. And we have a cheese that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Spanish Iberico. This is, if not my favorite cheese, it's like, like top three. Spanish Iberico. Cheese made from sheep, cow, and goat's milk. Product of Spain. Yeah. Comes in this wax paper. Yep. Yeah, that needs sharpening. There we go. That glides right through. Yeah. Yep, that's cheese. It smells like sheep's milk cheese. That smells like, but that, uh, 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 that looks less like cheese. Uh, this is what I think of. Uh, uh, it's got this, this waxy seal on it. You know, I've never known if that's actually edible. I mean, I'm sure you can put it in your mouth, but just, just for the sake of today and not taking risks. We're gonna be we're gonna be cutting that off. I I love Iberico. Now that smell that you smelled is because there's there's kind of a smell that goes along with uh, any sheep's milk cheese. I didn't know it was sheep's milk. It's largely a sheep's milk cheese. It says right there. I read it aloud. Made with three kinds of milk. I don't remember. Just now? It happened like seconds ago. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that looked cool. Some... <sighs> Torn bread tastes much better than sliced bread, which is why that whole best thing since sliced bread thing is nonsense in my book. Tastes much better this way. Okay. Prepare yourself. Now, the reason that this is gonna be our last thing that we film um, tonight is because I want to eat it all. This is, unless this happens to be a really disappointing example of one of my favorite cheeses. Yeah, I want all of this. Hmm. Milder than I'm used to. Let me try a bite with less bread on it. A little bit fruity. That might be coming from the bread. It's like... Mm. Yeah. I just love this bread. It's like very, very mild provolone almost. All right, let's try pieces that are just by themselves. A little waxy. Yeah, this is a bad example of my favorite cheese. I'm sad now. Kind of goat cheesy, just a hint of goat cheese. Tastes a lot better with bread. I'm not standing for this. Alright, so you guys are probably going to be seeing this long, long after we film it. Because this is a terrible example of one of my favorite cheeses. I, I'm, I'm deeply troubled by this. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're episode over until we get a better example of this cheese. Let's try again in, a, in like a month or two. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Happy Farms, how could you? You were supposed to bring balance to the force, not destroy it. I trusted you.